Hello everyone, and welcome back to another video. Our first topic for discussion today is the planet Jupiter. Jupiter is the largest planet in our solar system, and we'll be seeing some footage I was lucky to capture of an object passing in deep space. Continuing after that, we will discuss what the Mars opposition is and when it is taking place. Sit back, relax, and we'll begin shortly. I was recording some Jupiter footage for another video I'll be releasing in the near future, and I happened to notice something moving in the view. I didn't think anything of it at first as I thought it may have just been some lens flare. After examining the video later, I was excited to find that there were actually two objects passing in front of Jupiter. First let's examine the footage without enhancements, and don't worry if you can't make anything out just yet, we will be taking a closer look. For the next view, I have added some pointers to assist with detecting the objects A and B. The next view has object A centered while tracking. The next few scenes will be various views of the two objects which I will label. It's anybody's guess as to what these objects may be. In my opinion, these objects look to be in deep space as they are moving extremely slow through such a narrow field of view. They could possibly be some asteroids reflecting light from the sun. Who knows? Feel free to leave some comments below with any ideas. Now to talk about Mars. As some of you may know, on July 31st, Mars will be at opposition, which means that the Sun and Mars are on direct opposite sides of the Earth. I made this illustration to help give a better understanding of what is taking place. As you can see, the Earth is lined up with the Sun and Mars. Since the planets rotate at different speeds around the Sun, 
Opposition usually happens about every two years. I made this star map to show the position of Mars in the night sky during opposition. This will vary highly depending on your location on Earth, but this is what you would see in the U.S. Central Time Zone at 1 a.m. Lastly, I made this illustration to show the difference in size that Mars will make during its passing by the Earth. As you can see, Mars will gradually increase then decrease in size before and after opposition. I do plan to get some video and images of Mars in the coming days, so look for my future video. Thanks for watching and clear skies everyone!